Do you want to start with affiliate marketing, but don't know what products to sell? Does the world of affiliate marketing confuse you? With words like low ticket, high ticket, etc.? Do you wish you could make passive income, recommending products you love? Maybe you tell yourself you can't do affiliate marketing because you don't have a large audience, letting you feel like the only way you can make passive income online is through your blogging earnings. That couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, blogging earnings account for a tiny percentage of my overall income, so tiny, that I don't even really include them into my cash flow projections. The bulk of my income comes from affiliate marketing, and it's my goal to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't consider myself an expert, I consider myself someone who's testing and sharing with you my strategy, experience, and results. If you're wanting to get more in-depth articles on affiliate marketing, check these out. https colon slash slash lifewithtina.medium.com slash list slash affiliate marketing bc2f0ff76f0. For now, in this article we are going to be talking about high ticket offers, low ticket offers, and how to have an affiliate product mix. Ready to make passive income? High ticket affiliate offers. High ticket equals high investment equals bigger commission. I consider anything that is over $1,000 to be a high ticket offer. I've seen commission percentages for these offers be anywhere from 30 to 50%. In my experience, what's considered high ticket can range anywhere from online courses, group coaching, or one-to-one -one coaching programs. Remember though, what's considered high ticket to you may be pennies to someone else. You need to know that you don't need a big audience to sell high ticket offers. You just need a warm audience. I consider a warm audience to be an audience that you have an ongoing relationship with, are problem aware, and are looking for a solution to their problem. If you're consistent in providing value to your audience and you have repeat readers, then you can see that as the green light to sell to them. Heck, give yourself permission to sell rather than wait on external validation. Because the product you're selling is at a higher price point, you may need to produce more content and touch points around the product than just a simple review article. For example, when I was selling the plan by Dan Hollings, I promoted my articles to crypto communities that were looking for ways to make money in downtown markets, if you don't have a warm audience, go find it. Low Ticket Offers High ticket offers will give you cash injections, low ticket offers will keep you afloat. My recommendation for promoting low ticket offers is that you want to promote products that offer recurring commissions. These work well with software platforms, you sell it once, and then you make monthly commissions off of someone's payment. I remember when I first tested out low ticket offers, I had this article set to publish over my vacation and came back seeing affiliate sales in my inbox. There were a lot of factors that helped that, for one, the article picked up a lot of traffic naturally. That won't always be the case. But I consider low ticket offers an easier sale because cost is not per se a problem. The only challenge that you will have with low ticket offers is volume. For example, you may need 50 sales of a low ticket offer in order to meet the commission of one high ticket offer. You may not need a large audience, but your affiliate links will need more touch points. My recommendation is to create your own touch points by promoting your affiliate links through social media, email, and even in one-on-one -on -one conversations. Creating an affiliate commission mix. This begs the question, what's a good affiliate promotion mix? How often should you promote your affiliate products? My recommendation for creating an affiliate promotion mix is Promote low ticket offers monthly. Promote high ticket offers quarterly. If you want a step-by-step -step system, read this article. https colon slash slash medium dot com slash p slash 4911 baka 101d. I err on the side of value selling, meaning that you sell affiliate products because you 1000% stand by them and you provide value to the reader before you ask for the sale. For example, whenever I'm doing a product-based article I always give context on why plus how this product has been helpful in my business and how it can be for them too and then I ask for the sale if they decide to take next steps of purchasing. Side note, if you're looking for affiliate email marketing templates, I recommend you check out our affiliate toolkit. Underscore. In summary, I've shown you the difference between high ticket and low ticket affiliate offers. I've shared with you the frequency on how often you should sell affiliate products. Finally, 
I recommend purchasing Affiliate Toolkit if you're looking for a plug-and-play email template solution to promote affiliate products.